These go for much less on eBay. Poshmark is a better platform for certain items. Three, two, one. Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am gonna talk to you about Poshmark. What sold on Poshmark? I sell on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. eBay is my main platform. Whatnot is my new platform, which is creeping up uh, to my number one. I absolutely love it. One of the reasons I love it is because I get to hang out with you guys live, which is super, super fun. So even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out in the chat. There is a link down below where you'll get $15 to shop if you use my referral link. So go join Whatnot, and I hope to see you at a show. But like I said, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. I start my items on eBay, cross post to Mercari and Poshmark when I have time. Um, I did a really good job and I just today got a whole bunch of stuff on eBay and cross posted it over to Mercari and Poshmark. So hoping to see those things selling. It's always exciting to see which platform it's going to sell on because you just never know. Some things sell better on certain platforms. So in this video, we're talking about my Poshmark sales. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And let's get started. All right. So I do use List Perfectly to cross post. If you guys want to check out a video demo on how I do that, you can check it out down below. Um, it will walk you through the entire process. Um, for me, I like to see how things work. So check it out. If you think it's a good fit, you can get 30% off your first month with my referral code bolo buddies all one word so i don't know if you guys remember i bought a christmas mystery box at a thrift store it was a huge box and it was supposed to be christmas items and it ended up being a bunch of shoes and if you've been watching me for a while you know i'm not a big shoe seller i just don't really like to sell shoes but i'll pick them up from time to time so I was like, oh my goodness, I have a box of shoes. So go watch that video, kind of funny. Um, but I got some decent shoes. Here's one of the pairs that I got. They're Dr. Scholl's Men's Black Boat Shoes Comfort Loafers. I sold these for $25 plus the buyer paid shipping. Toys. Now I buy a lot of toys. I pick up a lot of plush at the bins, at garage sales. I had um, a gal from the channel call me and say, hey, she messaged me on Messenger. And she's like, hey, I've got a bunch of plush. I need it out of my house by tomorrow. Can you come pick it up? If so, you can have it free. Um, I think some of these items may have come from that or another haul that I had. But I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are basically the items that I did comps on that were overly, um, let's just say they were flooded on eBay. There were a whole bunch of them or they didn't comp out well. And I decided to put them on Poshmark as the bundle because you get that discounted shipping of $7.97 for anything that's five pounds or less. That's one reasons, one of the reasons I love Mercari. I mean, Poshmark. <laughs> I just did my video before this on Mercari. Um, I don't care for the shipping on Mercari, actually. So I use Pirate Ship over there. But anyway, I do love Poshmark for their shipping because anything under five pounds ships for the $7.97. So board games are fantastic. Those heavier items that are still five pounds and under that would cost you 10 to 15 on eBay it's much cheaper on Mercari. So you can price your items higher. I said Mercari again. You can price your items higher on Poshmark because the buyer is paying less for shipping. Now they can also bundle their items. And I'm going to show you some bundles I sold also. And that's another thing that's great about Poshmark. All right. So let's move on. Here's a good example of a heavy item. I don't even think I put this on eBay. I just put it on Poshmark. It was a very long tail item. I picked it up at a garage sale. I want to say it was like a buck and I sold it for 10. It was not big money. I don't even know if I would pick it up again. It was very, very heavy. So great item for um, Poshmark. And it was made of recycled materials. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I picked it up. This is a Power Rangers Ripper Rat figure. It's a some sort of ninja thing. I don't know. I used Google Lens to figure it out. Sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. My cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. 
Now, one thing about Poshmark is the buyer is paying $7.97 even for first class items. So that's kind of a downfall if you're a buyer. Uh, it's better to bundle. So if you're going into a Poshmark closet and you're getting lightweight items, you might as well buy more so that you get that cheap shipping. Otherwise, you're going to buy this figure for 10 and you're going to pay $7.97 to have it shipped, which still isn't too bad. That is a really fantastic rate. Any more ground shipping. Um, we've got ground advantage now. It used to be first class. I mean, you're still talking four to six dollars depending on the weight. So it's not that far off. Oh, why'd that happen? I don't know. Uh, this is a vintage 1977 Pacifica Steve Miller band belt buckle Pegasus horse. I sold this for $65 plus shipping. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of buckles. I think it ended up being like less than $2 per buckle. If you guys don't know about this brand, definitely be on the lookout. They have some that are Kiss, and those can go for hundreds of dollars. But this is what the logo on the back looks like, the branding. Fisher-Price Loving Family Dollhouse Twins. I believe this came out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. Uh, definitely check her out. She sells to resellers on her YouTube channel. She is also on Whatnot. I will link her down below. Uh, these sold for $31 plus shipping. Handcrafted 4th of July pin. I believe I only put this on Posh. No, actually, I think I had this on all three platforms and it sold fastest on Poshmark, which was not fast at all. This thing was so long tail. And I think it sold after the 4th of July, which is really random. Sold it for $7 um, and the buyer paid the shipping. This is a lot of quilting, measuring, rulers, triangles, stencils, and more. And the feedback was hilarious. They're like, I didn't want to buy it, but I ended up buying it. And I'm so glad I bought it because it was a great deal. They got all of this for $19. So what I did is I took all of these rulers and all of these different things. I don't even know, stencils, stuff like that. And I put them in a box and I made sure the box was under five pounds and they got it all for one money. And uh, there's some quilting things and really, really good deal. $19 plus the $7.97 shipping for all of that. So that was great. I picked that up at an estate sale and a big bundle of crafters items. These are two Lego storage cases, rectangle, yellow, and purple. What was nice about these is the purple case fit into the yellow case. So it really wasn't that big. Um, so I was able to put it on uh, Poshmark and I did not put this on any other platform. I only put it on Poshmark because of that shipping discount. Uh, this would have been so much more because of the weight on uh, eBay. So yeah, it's great. And again, they fit inside of each other. I almost donated them and I'm like, Courtney, just take the time to put it in a box. Come on, it's not that hard. Put a little bubble wrap around it. Somebody is going to want these vintage storage containers. And it was the cases only. I got Legos in them. I parted out the Legos. A lot of them are sitting in a bucket <laughs> to sell someday. So I probably made my money back just on the storage cases. I am horrible about buying Legos and not listing them. I usually will list enough to make my money back and then the rest just sit because I don't have time to sort them. But those minifigures, I mean, the horses, the little people, all of the characters. I think I sold a bear recently. I did list a bear. And what else did I list? Some Ninja Turtle turtle shells. I listed some of those. So some of the easier things that pop out that I know will sell quickly, I will list those. And then, you know, a lot of the bricks I'm going to sell by the pound eventually. So $27 buyer paid shipping on those. Cat's Meow Village of Three Lionel Village Pieces. These are little village pieces. They do say Lionel Trains on the back. And I sold these for $55 plus shipping. I picked these up at a garage sale. I got a steal of a deal. I think it was three huge boxes. I can't even remember what I paid for them. But I probably had less than a dollar in all of these. Uh, yes, Lou LaRoe. Um, I fell into that trap about... Uh, I didn't fall into the trap. I didn't buy it from Lou LaRoe. I bought it at a thrift store. But I bought a bunch of them. For $3 each, I believe it was. The reason I bought them, I kind of knew that, you know, the market's not real great for them. 
but they had Kermit the Frog. They had Disney characters. And I'm like, these are going to sell because of the content, what is on the print. And this is Kermit the Frog. It finally sold. I had it on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. It sold fastest on Poshmark, which was not fast at all, you guys. Took forever. Sold it for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. Glad it is gone. And it was new with tags. Vintage abalone pendant brooch pin, alpaca, Mexico. This is what it looks like. I've had this listed a very, very long time. It took a long time to sell. I did get a caliper, and this is how I measure my items to show people the size. These things are super cheap on eBay, less than 15 bucks shipped. It, at least when I bought it, that was the price. So uh, definitely get one of these. They are great for showing small items. I mean, it's right there for your buyer to see. There's no question on how big this item is. It is right there. Uh, digitally there. <laughs> so check out getting one of those. Uh, I love it. It's great, great, great for jewelry. All right. So I sold this for $23 plus shipping. I don't even remember where I got it. Like I said, it's been listed a long time, probably a garage sale. This is a Spanx dress kini. I got a whole bunch of these at a discount store called Gabriel Brothers. And I want to say these were marked down to, I think, three, three to five dollars. I can't remember exactly. I think three on these. Some of them I paid 10 to 12 for some of the one piece suits, but they sold like hotcakes. This dress kini, a little harder to sell. Now, these go for much less on eBay. Poshmark is a better platform for certain items. If it's new with tags and it's a higher dollar item, Poshmark, you're probably going to get more for your item. If you're not on Poshmark and you want to check it out, I do have a referral link down below. You will get $10 to shop with that referral link. And then I, use, I start on eBay and cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, my items. But you can list into the catalog directly, list perfectly directly and cross post. So I think there's like 12 different platforms now. I can only handle three, <laughs> but there's some people that are killing it by doing tons of platforms and they're just moving inventory. So check it out. It's a great resource. Again, Bolo Buddies is my referral code for list perfectly. That's going to get you 30% off your first month. Now, this is a bundle, and I sold all three of these items. They made me an offer. I can't remember what the offer is, but Poshmark takes 20%, and my earnings on these three items was $36. And I believe I picked all three of these up at a garage sale, and they were very long tail. Took a long time to sell. But look at my titles. Bracelet earrings set. Pierced earrings. Drop earrings pierced. Awful awful, awful, awful titles. And that is why I sell jewelry on whatnot, because I don't know how to describe anything. So anyway, come on over to whatnot. You might get a deal because I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Um, and on whatnot, you guys, I start my jewelry anywhere from a dollar to $5. So it just depends on what it is. I do bundle things up. I do small lots. I do singles. I do a little bit of everything. And a lot of times I'm just pulling from bags and I don't even have a plan. So it's kind of exciting, kind of like an unboxing to see what I'm going to bring. So I'd love to see you guys over there. Again, use that link down below to get $15 to shop on whatnot. All right, I sold these two brawls. These were retail arbitrage. I bought these off of the Lane Bryant website when they were on clearance and I had a coupon. Um, I did take a best offer and my earnings was $36. So whatever 20% off of that, whatever offer it was, I earned 30. Cost of goods was probably between six and $7 a piece because I was buying them retail arbitrage off the website. Uh, 36C is a harder size to sell in this brand. Most of the bras in this brand are larger bust, uh, cup and, uh, band sizes. And those typically will sell for more. The biggest loser. I don't know why I lost my picture here, but I did. These I got from Gabriel Brothers. I want to say I paid a dollar each for these. They're like athletic shirts that have that stretch, like fitted, fitted feel, Again, these sold for way more than they would have on eBay. I ended up earning $20.16 after fees for these two items. Tommy Bahama shirts. I got these at a garage sale or my husband did. I cannot. Yeah, garage sale. Dollar, dollar, and $2. 
And these were cross posted to Mercari, Poshmark and eBay, and they sold fastest on Poshmark. Uh, my total earnings for these three items was $52.80. So I spent four and I made $52.80. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think I, oh golly, I can't remember. I know I got a bunch at a garage sale, but I also know my husband brought a bunch home from an estate sale. And I'm just not sure which is which here. So they were listed for a long time. They were uh, reversible, I think. Anyway, nice buy for the buyer. Good sale for me. And I love that they can bundle. So these three items weighed less than five pounds. So they got $7.97 shipping for these three shirts. So that's great. So check out Poshmark as a buyer also because you get that great uh, shipping discount. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can get those links to everything I talked about down below in the description, and I will see you soon, and thanks for watching.